Construction contracts were introduced as a method of training between flat packs and regular construction, where you travel from home to home across Gilinor fixing furniture for a lump sum of experience once you complete the contract. The activity also introduced the plank box as well as an elite skilling outfit for construction as a reward for doing this activity. In order to start doing contracts, 40 construction is required for normal planks, with each tier of planks being unlocked 10 levels beyond that. Contracts consist of three steps, which is obtaining the contract, setting up your inventory for that contract, and then getting to the contract and fixing the furniture. In order to get a contract, you must speak to an estate agent, which can either be done through the contact NPC spell or talking to them in person at one of the locations listed. It should be noted that the NPC contact spell drastically reduces the amount of time consumed between teleporting as well as being able to stay in the same region for similar contracts. Once you obtain the contract, you can click it to open a interface which will tell you the exact items that you need to build for that specific contract. Now, when first starting out with contracts, you should be expecting, even with a Beast of Burden, to be banking after every single contract. For inventory setups, this is what I used on my Iron Man for each of the tiers and each of the level of plank boxes that I had available to me. In terms of getting to the contracts, these are your best options for each of the different locations. It should be noted that the only locations you can get a contract are Lumbridge, Varrock, Edgeville, and Drainer. Unlocking the rewards in this order focuses on maximizing experience gain as the elite construction outfit drastically decreases the time per contract needed. Finally, on screen there are some tips and tricks that I learned along my way to getting 99 that might improve your experience.